Hello, good morning everyone. My name is Igor Nwari and I'm a researcher at Lancaster University. So in my last tutorial I I talked to you about the uh, the test that we can do to to be able to ascertain what kind of missing is in the data. So especially when we have hydrological data sets and uh, there are lots of gaps in between. Like in this that we can see here. So uh, today I'll be doing a follow up on that using the Amelia software to try to fill in that gap. It's basically a package in R that performs multiple imputations to deal with missing data instead of other methods like regression analysis that, that is very awful and cannot be applied in lots of different cases. So, but what this does is it resamples the original data set using bootstrap algorithm, then implements expectation maximization algorithm. So, expectation maximization algorithm is an iterative method that finds out the maximum likelihood or the maximum a posterior estimates for parameters in statistical models so that's what this does but if you want to go into the in-depth of that you can go out there and search for different literatures but today i'll just take you through how this can be applied in r so what you want to do first is install the package so you go to solution package and type amelia there so i've already done that so i won't go through that again so i'll just add it to library here and also this um, RCCP, RCCP, okay, RCWP package, the seamless, uh, seamless R and C++ integration. So I believe the Amelia software was designed in R and designed in C++ rather. And this package helps to bring that seamlessness between uh, uh, R and C++, I would say. Uh, so uh, what we want to do now is view the Amelia so want to view that and it loads up the package you can see here so that's Amelia so you want to import I think you can import some R data SCD which is Excel and uh, you can import data you can import uh, SPSS data as well but we'll just go ahead and and import uh, our data so we want to go to oh, I have to have this folder imputation here yeah so that's it there so I have the data in there so I just want to import that so immediately import it goes ahead to show you right away some basic statistics so these are the number of data 38 here and we have it missing so uh, that's the data there uh no that's not the one uh, okay sorry it's there but so that's it there that's the data we're working with so we have all this missing components in there and we're trying to fill that up yep so um, we minimize that and basically we run the missingness map and the missingness map shows us like where data is missing then yeah so that's the missingness map there so you want to zoom it but it takes some time so when it comes up I'll, I'll try to show you what that looks like then you want to impute and you can see a successful imputation so it runs five imputations five iterations we'll say and we get the result looking something like that so you see the one two three four five imputations so if we open that yep i've already done that before so that's why this is coming up so these are the So if I just keep this side by side there, you can see that has been imputed 1963. We have that now and 1964, we have this now. So yeah, basically that's what this does. So uh, I did a plot earlier and you can see this low point here is where we have some very small data that I'll have to take out due to some error occurs. It was taken during the low flow season. Where 
low flow month and there was no data available so i'll take this out treat this as a missing data and try to estimate that say to come up somewhere around here i'll say so that's it i hope you enjoyed it and you use this for your research and it helps you and uh yeah so that's the plot coming up so you see the missing parts where we don't have data here 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 yeah we don't have much data that's why we have all this and this is where we have observed information so i'll share it like it comment and uh make sure you add some of your inputs as well i really appreciate that thank you very much and i hope this is helpful